There's a rumor going around that a new PlayStation is coming out, and we're going to discuss today if it really matters or not. I'm Troy, and he's Greg. We're from Marks on Games, and today we're going to be discussing a possible new PlayStation 5 with a detachable disk drive. Now, on with the story. All the links to the articles we're covering today are down in the video description. According to InsiderGaming.com, Sony to launch new PlayStation 5 with a detachable disk drive, sources suggest. You were telling me about this yesterday and kind of blew my mind with it. There's so much like that can be happening with this. Like My question is, is the disk drive bundled with it? Like the article here says, it's not It's not been set up to be someone's own or bundled with it. But here's my thing, here's what I'm thinking. They sell a, a uh, digital only console at like say 400 and then the detach detachable disk drive at 100, that's 500, right? Mm. So maybe they're gonna see how well the detachable disk drive sells and they can get a, a gauge for how many people still wanna use disks. That's what yeah. I think they're kind of, kind of looking at. That makes sense. The console currently named the D chassis PlayStation 5 will have almost identical hardware to the existing consoles already on the market. The most surprising new feature of this new PlayStation 5, though, is that the console will have a detachable disk drive. The detachable disk drive will be connected to the PlayStation 5 using an extra USB-C port to the back of the console. That makes sense. I've seen computers like that as well. My current uh, computer that I'm recording on right now does not have a disk drive. It doesn't even have a, is, a freaking tower. It's just a screen. It's all built into it. Update. Sources have confirmed that the prototype of the console has been in the hands of the developers for a number of months. It's in the hands of the people at Sony and not at an individual developer studio. The new console well, I would does hope not. Right. Well, the new console does not need to be in the developer's hands because it will have almost identical specifications to the original PlayStation 5, sources said. In addition, and after many questions from the community, sources said that they don't believe that the detachable disk drive will be compatible with the existing digital version, but that could change with a ma with major software updates. <laughs> Couple things here. Number one, you bought the digital version of the original one. Why would you need a disk drive? You bought the digital version because you wanted the digital version. Hey, kind of just going back on yourself, aren't you? Hey. In case you, after the fact, decided, ah, well, since they have the disk drive up for sale, I could just buy the disk drive. I mean, I could see I that. I could see but that, but I'm like, they're why clarifying you just buy the disk one to begin with? Maybe you didn't want it to begin with, but now that it's an option, you're willing to pay a little extra to get a uh, disk drive. I mean, I could see that. I mean, if you're buying the digital now and thinking you can get the detachable disk drive later, that's not going to work. Like, it sounds like they were clarifying that here where they said it's it's not going to compute. So, so my other thing is it's going to have the exact same specs as the current one. What the hell is the point of buying a new one? then? Uh, No clue. I guess maybe this is for the people that never got it before. It's the and only like thing a I graphical can update? I don't see anything about that. This screams cash grab all, all loudly as hell to me. It's understood that this new PlayStation 5 console will be sold on its own or in a bundle with a detachable disk drive. It is also understood that the disk drives can also be purchased separately, so if it is busted, there's no need to buy an entirely new console. Sources have implied that all the, the new detachable disk drive is portable. It will not ruin the aesthetics of the console and will <laughs> attach to it without looking external, presumably meaning the new PlayStation 5 will look similar to the existing model. Why are you telling us that the thing will be portable? No clue, man. It's not like it's, a, a Switch you can just play on the road. You still need the PlayStation with it. <laughs> it's portable, though. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Well, this company, it's, man. It's understood uh, that Sony is anticipating producing 18.5 million units of the new PlayStation 5 console in fiscal year 2023 and only 12 million units of the A through C chassis consoles as they begin to be phased out. This is generally so, what we call a mid-generation refresh update or re refresher, but I don't think it is yeah. a refresher. You're saying, you're saying it's the exact same thing, right? This is the exact same hardware and specs. 
Yeah, I don't... It's not clarifying if anything's better, if anything's updated. Like when the Nintendo Switch OLED came out, obviously the screen was better. Right. When the Xbox One X came out, it jumped up to 4K. The PlayStation 4 Pro jumped up to 4K. What is this doing? I don't Detachable know, Detachable disk drive. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to get I, someone in the comments. Well, actually, you don't know anything because they're doing this. Well, I'm looking at this other report saying that a new report from TheLeak.co has suggested that the new PlayStation 5 Slim is set to release in 2023. Yeah, that would uh, help and, because this thing I have here is huge. But I'm not going to... I'm one of those idiots like, oh, I need the Slim, so I'm going to go get a new one. Nope. But I mean, I guess I'm like looking at this damn thing. It's, it's like the size of a... Uh, a couch cushion. As the leak reports, the goal for Sony is to reduce the weight and size of the console, which is something the company has actively been trying to do by reducing the weight of the console with its B and C chassis. Which, that last story I just read, said they're phasing them out? So... So, I, I get the whole thing, like, you know, you want to make it smaller, but so the person already has it. I don't ever carry this thing around. It just sits there in the entertainment center. Right. So again, you're giving us no real reason. We want to make it smaller. Okay. And? By the time I got my PlayStation 4, it was about as slim as it was going to get, which I really appreciate because yeah, that's I, what I have too. Yeah, I can move this thing around. It's literally sitting on my printer right now and it's great. It's like smaller than my uh, it's about the size of my laptop i would say so i can store it and pack it up and whatever it's a lot easier to lug around than my xbox i'll say that which xbox do you know. have it's just a big black box i don't know which version that is <laughs> series x but, and like a ref like the refrigerator looking one it's pretty heavy so. well this is a xbox one so but it was I don't know if they slim that one down ever, but mine is definitely a, a thick boy. Xbox One, I don't know if it ever... Yeah, I did get a slimmer one. Okay. Yeah, mine. mine's pretty thick, so... That about does it for all of that. If any of you have any updates on this or know any of other any other updated links that we can take a look at, uh, definitely sure, comment some. down below. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, if you guys share links with us to uh, updated stories or if somebody else has a different take on it, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'd love to read about I it. I on them. Yeah, it'd be fun uh, to learn a little bit more about this. And comment with, if you've got a PlayStation 5, what you think about it. Are you liking this idea of a detachable disk drive? Would you get this one? Definitely let us know in the comments. And as always, share this video around everyone you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I am Troy. He is Greg. We're with Marks on Games, and we'll see you next time.